Hey guys, Badman2108 here with part two, or episode two, of my iPod Touch showdown. So in this episode, we're going to be doing day-to-day -day tasks, which really is the most effective way to show the comparisons as far as speed, how well the processor works, how better the RAM is, and just other stuff to see how fast things load, and yada yada yada. We're going to start with the boot test. Alright, I'm going to try and press these at the exact same time. Alright. Mark, set, go. Uh, the race is on. And I'm going to point out something else. You can tell, I've been told in other videos, that the display between the iPod Touch 5 and the iPhone 5 looks identical. Now, uh, iFixit did a teardown of the iPod Touch 5 and shows that the display is actually inferior, but no one can really tell and the iPod Touch 5 loaded first no no surprises there you could tell that when the Apple logo was on the 4 seemed a little more blue so and 4 unlocks fa or 5 unlocks faster alright let's go to the internet let's see Let's go to apple.com, not we, dot, alright, ready, set, go. And the iPod Touch 5 completely destroyed the 4 in every single way. Alright, let's try something a little more sophisticated sophisticated in case you guys couldn't tell. I want to do youtube.com. Ready, set, go. And it was actually pretty close, but I found that surprising. Alright, I will load a video. Let's see. We'll just pick one of mine. In retrospect, I probably should have had all these things typed out before I film this. Okay, go. And let's see. Pick a video that I'm proud. Alright, load my old showdown. And the 4 is still loading. Alright, you now here's another test I'm going to do. I'm going to do a speaker test. See which one's louder. Because the speaker on the 4 was not loud at all. So, you know, we'll do this in full landscape. Oh, it's been an unfair test. I forgot I had Sims Free Play open. So, it's really been slowing down the 5 just a little bit. So... And you can see on the video, there's black letter boxing on the 4 and none on the 5. Alright, so we'll do a speaker test. Ready, set, go. Hey guys, I'm Adam 2108 here, and I'm going to do some quick video tests between iPod Touch 5 and iPod Touch 4. So right now you are viewing this on an iPod It's actually device. really hard to tell a difference, so which, that that's not good. <laughs> Yeah, that's not good. Let's try music. Let's see how it actually does with music. Let's see. I'm going to do X-Ray Dog, which that's the music I use on my Samsonite channel. It's, it's, it's not copyrighted, so that's why I use it. Just do the first one that comes up. Actually, let's do one I know, just because. Okay, whatever. <laughs> just do the first one. Now, do it at the same time. Ready, set, go.
Okay, I'm gonna call this one a dead tie. Unfortunately. Now I'll clear the multitasking. And let's see, what else can I show you guys? And of course, the 5th gen is also at another disadvantage considering it has much more music and much more apps on it, so that will slow it down just a bit. All right, we'll do a display comparison. Let's view some photos. Let's see, are there any? There wouldn't be at the same photo, so let's see. We'll just go to the actual. What are you doing? View the same photos. All right, now let me focus this. I hate this noise when watching it on video. If you can't tell, if you can tell on camera, you can see that the fifth gens display far blows the fourth gens out of the water. Now the fifth gen has an IPS display, I believe that's what it's called. Correct me if I'm wrong, but it was put in the iPhone 4. I mentioned this in another video, so basically if you turn it, you can tell that the 4th gen, it's like, it's losing a lot of the same, it's like getting bluer, I don't know how else to describe it, but it just looks washed out and gross, while the 5th gen is keeping off its clarity. Even though the 4th gen is technically a retina display, it just does not look as good as the 5th gen. <laughs> not even close alright now as far as battery life it's actually a pr it's about the same unfortunately now someone asked me about the battery percentage so I'm just gonna clarify on that that does not come as a standard feature it's actually whenever I first got my fourth gen I jailbroke it like it was I believe it came out, the jailbreak came on Christmas Day whenever I got it. And, or maybe it was before or after that. But anyways, I, I wanted battery percentage, so I put it on it. And then, ever since then, every single time I've upgraded, backed up, or restore, even unjailbroken, that battery percentage has stayed there. So that's one feature that won't go away, which I'm thankful for. Oh, another thing I want to talk about. Not only was it faster on the internet test because of the faster processor and more RAM? It was faster because of the new, brand new Wi-Fi antennas, which is shown here. That's what the black strip is, the new Wi-Fi antennas that were put into the new iPod Touch. Not only does it get the information and process it faster, which makes the Wi-Fi faster, it's also stronger, so you have a much longer range along with that new Bluetooth 4.0. And the 5th gen iPod Touch has twice the RAM as the 4th gen, which makes gaming, and unfortunately I can't show you because, remember, this 4th gen is not mine, so I can't put anything on it that isn't, yeah, I can't put anything on it. I'm not allowed to, unfortunately. Sorry, guys. If you want gaming comparison, I'll send you a link to TLD, and he will show you an awesome comparison. Well, that concludes the iPod Touch Showdown Episode 2. Stay tuned and stay subscribed for more videos. Thank you.